when I found out there was a new Spider-Man coming out, my Spidey senses started to tingle. I just knew I had to create an art piece. When I was a little girl, okay, probably like 12 or something, I used to get up at 5.30 in the morning. Such an early bird. I remember being in my PJs, all wrapped up in a blanket, on the couch, watching Spider-Man before I head to school. This was in the 70s. No, not the 90s, the 70s. You didn't have 100 channels like today. I basically just watched Spider-Man and Disney on Sundays. Well, one day it happened. I too was bit by a spider, just like Spider-Man. I'm practically Peter Parker. Oh, me? Peter got these cool superpowers. He was climbing walls, spinning webs, pew pew, swinging from high buildings, and me? All I got was sick. My doctor said to me, Sandy, you need radiation. I'm like, what? From a spider bite? Well. That didn't help. I just got sicker. Sandy, we need to take your breast off and remove your lymph nodes. What? From a spider bite? Yep, I was growing sicker and sicker. I couldn't get out of bed. My doctor is like, Sandy, you need chemo. What? You know this is a spider bite, right? Well, day by day, I grew sicker and sicker. I remember I had brain fog. I couldn't stop puking. Getting out of bed was so hard. I was exhausted. I used to get so tired that I would puke. And shower, whoa, having a shower that day was a huge production. I lost all my hair and little by little, all of my confidence just slipped down the drain. I started to get back to my roots. The one thing that matters is family and friends. It's not about the big corporate job, the money, the chaos of life. I realized tomorrow's not promised. And if not now, when? I began to battle fight for my life, no matter how that looked, losing was not an option. Then it happened one day. Little by little, I started getting stronger. I stopped puking. I was getting up out of bed and the fog was lifting. I was laying on the couch one day watching Hallmark movies and my spidey senses started tingling. I started to find my confidence again. I think I'm getting superpowers. I started to get creative. I started drawing and designing and creating. No, I was not swinging from tall buildings, spinning webs. I got super creative. I started to dream in color, paint, draw, wood burn. Ugh, the struggle is real. <laughs> Look at how heavy you're breathing. How come? I'm so out of puff. Uh, I literally just got off the couch. I'm having a hot flash. <gasps> I'm melting. There is a big issue with using cheap wood. Narrator explain. Basswood and butternut are great for wood burning. They're softer wood and they have like no wood grain. Looks great. But you're cheap and you like to use cedar or pine. Hey, I'm a hoarder. I am not gonna use up all my expensive basswood and butternut. No, no, my friend. Yeah, wood burning on cheap wood, Such a pain in the butt. 
it digs into the wood and then it pops out and it goes light, dark, light, dark. Sap pocket! It is so inconsistent. Gah! My inner FUD is going off. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. What kind of wood do I use? What kind of paint? Acrylic, oil, pencil crayons. What's the design going to be? Do I draw it? If I draw it, that'll take me weeks to get that down just the way I want it. Oh, I think I'm just going to trace it. Yeah, I'm just tracing it. This is not a drawing exercise. And then, what is my process? Oh, the struggle is real. I'm not that techie. Oh, crap. I'm old as dirt. I gotta try to figure out how to record all this, how to edit it. And my biggest roadblock is me. How am I gonna script it? The story. How will it unfold? Will it make sense? Will you even get it? Uh, I'm getting so tired. <sighs> Maybe it's just time to give up. It's just a wood burning, right? <laughs> you have issues. Maybe you should have never left the couch. You could be watching your Christmas faves right now. It'd make great firewood. Ooh, we could have roasted weenies and s'mores. No, get your negative ass out of here. Yeah, so that's how I got here. I needed a plan. I needed a strategy. It is time for science and art to make an alliance. I need to come up with a special sauce. Yes, a jelly, a pretty jelly. Here it is. Let's see what happens. So, how'd it turn out? I'll tell you what happened. Nothing. Jelly on a board. It's missing that certain ingredient. Ooh, magic baking soda. Ooh, no, cornstarch. Ooh, salt. Love? Okay, I got nothing. Ooh, I know. Dog drool. <laughs> Bring on the heat. Man, I've made a lot of mistakes, but this whole process has taught me there's some things you can't change, like getting sick, losing a friend, a parent, or just being too damn tired, too busy, brain fog. I can't even put a sentence together. What is that word? Nope, not even on the tip of my tongue. The point is, we can learn to forge a new path and learn from the past. Put the work in, surround yourself with friends and family, and get back to your roots to create a better life. I can't change what has happened, but I can change what is going to happen. <laughs> I made this! I made this! Oh, so glad I got off the couch. What do you think? Do you like it? Dog drool? Puppy love? Why are the dogs barking? Are they barking at me? Okay, I'll go let them in. I'll go let them in.